So my friend came round to my house the other day and we were talking and I mentioned the N64. As a child, I loved the N64. I had three because they're so amazing. But when I mentioned it, my friend turned to me and said, what's an N64? What is wrong with this guy? I absolutely loved the N64. All of my friends liked it and he doesn't even know what it is. He told me that he was too young to have even had one because he's only five years old. No. What kind of excuse is that? I love the N64. He doesn't even know what it is. I kicked him out of my house. But this isn't the only time something like this has happened. Once I was at a DVD shop and my friend was trying to decide does he buy Batman or Spider-Man as a film? Now, obviously, I recommended Batman because I love Batman. Batman is amazing. I used to watch all the cartoons and stuff when I was a child. Batman's just my favourite house, Batman and Spider-Man. But guess what? He ended up buying Spider-Man, even though I told him how much I loved Batman. If I was king, people like this would be in prison right now. How can they not like the same things that I do? If I like something and they've never even heard of it, do they deserve to be my friend? No. What kind of person chooses Spider-Man over Batman anyway? So there's definitely a moral to this video. If all of your friends like something, you have to like it. I don't care if you enjoy football, I prefer rugby so that's what you should like. I don't really like Fanta so buy Coke. Someone once said to me that they thought everyone should be allowed to like whatever they like and not give in to peer pressure or anything. No, if I don't like it, you won't like it so don't even bother. And cut. So are you happy with all of that or do you want to repeat some scenes? I think this video went quite well actually. Yes, it was mostly good, but I'm just kind of worried about the sarcasm. Not all the viewers might understand that you're joking. They might think you actually believe like what you're saying. So wh what do you think about that, Peter? But I'm not Peter, I'm Peter's sarcastic cousin. <laughs> oh, you look remarkably like Peter, I must say, but then I guess so do I. But I'm just his cameraman cousin.